What's up guys, my name is Alex, I'm a top 100 team game player and today I wanted to show you how I play the Swedes. But first off, I wanted to give you a quick disclaimer, that the Swedes are the little brother of the Japanese. Thanks to the extreme boom potential that the Japanese shrine offers, there is no way in hell a Swedish torp could keep up with that. <laughs> Okay, I think I need to apologize to all the Japanese players out there. But I invite you to join the Church of the Better and Improved Shrine. You can build it at mines, at hunts, at forests or just for the hell of it into playing grass. It will always spawn a berry bush and be very happy. But let's circle back to the more serious part of the video. This is actually a guide. First off, the Swedish military is not really diverse. So you always need to stay ahead in economy, technology and most importantly in the amount of falconets inside your opponent's base. The units you want to use are Carolians paired with artillery. Of course you can always mix in some hussars if the opponent has a low amount of anti-cavalry. The second unit composition you can use is Mass Hacapellets. This unit is a bit too strong at the moment so if you want to be able to look in the mirror from time to time don't use them. I had to get rid of all of mine. Now it's build order time. I use this build order in more than 95% of my games. It is very consistent. You start up by building only one torp and sending two villagers on wood. Make sure to gather your hunt close to the torp because the torp can gather from the dead animals. Once you reach 200 wood, you build a trading post. Your first shipment is three villagers. Including these you want to age up with exactly 15 villagers. You choose the two villagers and two cows to age up. The reason for this is that the torps can collect livestock, so you actually get 500 food and two villagers. Whilst aging up, you send every villager on wood, but one or two construction workers that have to build a whole lot of torps. And now, the most important part. The further the mine from your town center, the more torps you want to build on a mine. So, inside your city, you put one or two torps on a mine. On your half of the map, you put two to three torps on a mine. And on the other side of the map, there you can build 3 or 4. If you don't follow this rule, you will have an economic crisis in the mid game and you will hate yourself. So please, don't build 4 torps inside your main base. <clears throat> okay, uh, where were we? Ah yes, now we're in the next age. Send 700 wood as your first shipment and delete the 2 cows at 2 different torps. Depending on your opponent, you want to build your first barracks either instantly after the age up or with 700 wood. In the meantime, use any wood to constantly build torps. Thanks to the trading post, you can follow up the 700 wood with 600 wood. After building the first barracks, just build a second barracks. As you can see in the background, I got a little bit addicted to building torps and delayed both my barracks for too long. Once you start building the barracks, start spreading your villagers and food and gold. You want 4 villagers on gold and about 15 on food. This allows you to constantly produce Carolians. Use the 600 wood shipment to build a market and get the first two food upgrades, hunting dogs and steel traps. From this point on every game will be different, but usually you want to get the two torp upgrades from the home city next. Engelsberg Ironworks for better gold gathering and blueberries to refresh all your berry bushes and improve the gather rate. Your next goal should be getting to the third age and shipping two falconets. Because of your lack of skirmishers, your opponents will easily kite all your Carolians if you stay in age 2 for too long. It also enables you to get veteran Carolians and the Carolian range upgrade. And don't be scared to go into the industrial age very quickly. I've had the best success with aging fast rather than building too many units. Good luck! This is the deck I usually run in 3v3 team games. As you've seen in the build order part of the video, there's 3 villagers, 700-600 wood and the 2 torp upgrades. Also 700 gold is very useful for aging up to the 3rd age. In the 3rd age you usually ship 2 falconets and the Carolian range upgrade. Then you age up to the 4th age. The standard build usually works like this. You are in the 3rd age and push with about 30 Carolians and 2 falconets. There you make the opponent trade horribly into your falconets. Usually they waste a lot of units to kill your falconets and ignore the Carolians. Once your artillery is dead, you pull back, 
H up and come back with two heavy cans and do the same. At this point you are usually very ahead, but don't forget, it is essential to not waste Carolians and just trade out the artillery. Finally, let me comment on the Swedish economy. It is very strong in the early game and heavily falls off once the mines are gone. For this reason, you need to add a second town center once you are in the third age. What do you do when the mines are gone? As stated before, Torps can also collect wood. For this reason, you don't send the cards, Great Northern Forests and Blackberries until all your Torps are depleted. Then you delete your Torps step by step and rebuild them inside forests. Once all your Torps sit inside the forest, you ship Great Northern Forests and Blackberries. By doing this, your Torps will produce a lot of food and wood for the rest of the game. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope I could improve your Sweden experience at least a little bit and hit me up in the comments or in-game if you have further questions or critiques.